Hello dear learner, I, Mr. Sri Krishna Bhavkar, from Delonic Society's Baramati College of Pharmacy, Varanpur, Baramati, welcomes you in the session of Size Reduction. In this session, here I am going to cover following contents. First one is the introduction of size reduction, objectives and mechanism of size reduction, advantages and disadvantages of size reduction and classification of equipments used in size reduction. Learning outcome of today's session is after completion of this topic student should able to discuss meanings and objectives of size reduction enumerate advantages and disadvantages of size reduction study the mechanism of size reduction and explain factors affecting on size reduction so now here is a time to think and reflect that is reflection spot so pause this video and write down the answer for the question in your notebook what is importance of size reduction in pharmaceutical industry so to discuss this point here we need to discuss various concept before going to start actual concept here I want to explain what is size and what is reduction actually size refers to physical dimension of an object whereas reduction refers to decrement or the process of decreasing the size that's why size reduction is the operation carried out for reducing the size of bigger particles into smaller one of desired size and shape with the help of external forces also size reduction is a process of reducing large solid unit masses for example vegetables or chemical substances into small small unit masses or coarse particles or fine particles size reduction process is also term as comminution or diminution or pulverization normally size reduction may be achieved by two methods namely as precipitation process and mechanical process so here we will discuss each process one by one so first one is the precipitation process in the precipitation method the substance is dissolved in an appropriate solvent subsequently it is a fine precipitate by the addition of another solvent which is miscible with the first but in the latter the substance is insoluble this method is suitable for the production of raw materials and bulk drugs inorganic chemicals such as calcium carbonate magnesium carbonate and yellow mercuric oxide are prepared by precipitation method second method is the mechanical process in this mechanical process the substance is subjected to mechanical forces by using grinding equipments such as ball mill, roller mill, colloidal mill, etc. In general, dry grinding or milling is used in the production of tablets and capsules, while wet grinding is used in the preparation of suspensions, emulsions and ointments. The method of milling is applied either in the production of raw materials or as a part of the production cycle in the manufacturing of the doses forms so now here is the objectives of size reduction in the material processing industry the product the size reduction is usually carried out in order to increase the surface area because in most reaction involving solid particles the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the area of contact with a second phase then break a material into small particles in order to separate the valuable amongst the two constituents then achieve intimate mixing then to dispose solid waste easily 
then to improve the handling characteristics and then to mix solid particles more intimately. Now, here is advantages of size reduction. After getting proper size reduction, there are certain advantages such as content uniformity, uniform flow rate and uniform mixing, effective and uniform drying. Due to effective size reduction, increases the area of surface or viscosity. Effective size reduction, smaller the particle, greater the absorption and improves dissolution rate and it improves rate of absorption. As this size reduction having these advantages, simultaneously it shows certain disadvantages also, such as there may be chances of drug degradation, there may be chances of drug contamination and there may be chances of poor mixing. Now, mechanism of size reduction. Mechanism of size reduction is carried out by using four different steps. The mechanism of size reduction may vary with nature of material. Therefore, each drug may require a separate treatment. However, the general mechanism may be described as follows. It shows four distinct steps such as impact, attrition, shear and compression. So let us see one by one. So first one is the impact. In this impact, this involves the operation of hammers or bars at a high speed. When a lump of material strikes the rotating hammer, the material splits apart. This action continues until particles of required size are obtained. For example, hammer mill. Impact also occurs when moving particles strikes against a stationary surface. In the same way, particles moving at a high speed colloids each other and produces a smaller particles. Hence, size reduction is achieved. For example, fluid energy mill. Next one is the attrition. As attrition arises from particles scrapping against one another or against a rigid surface. Then third part is the shear. Shear produces when the particle is compressed between the edges of two hard surfaces which are moving tangentially. And the last part is the compression. As compression is nothing but the particles disintegration by two rigid forces. This compression force is used when material is hard, when material is abrasive and when the material is not stick. Also when material will break cubically and where the finished product is to be relatively coarse in size. There are two different types of impacts. First one is the gravity impact. In gravity impact, the free falling material is momentarily stopped by the stationary object. For example, cold dropped onto a hard steel surface. And second one is the dynamic impact. Most often used when it is necessary to separate two materials which have relatively different friability. For example, materials dropping in front of a moving hammer. So here is classification of size reduction equipments. Actually, there are various instruments which are used to achieve the size reduction in pharmaceutical industry. This classification may be categorized by uh, under the four subcategories such as crushers, grinders, ultra fine grinders and cutting machine. So here is 
Point number one is the crushers. For example, edge runner mill and end runner mill. Next one is the grinders. In this grinder, there are four subcategories. First one is the impact mill. Example is hammer mill. Next one is the rolling. Example is compression and the roller mill. Next one is the attrition mill. Example is attrition mill. The next one is the tumbling. Example is ball mill. Third part is the ultra fine grinder. Example is fluid energy mill. And last one is the cutting machine. Example is cutter mill. So here is the references which I have used for the preparation of this presentation. Pharmaceutical Engineering by CVS Subramaniam and farmtech.com. So thank you very much. Here I would like to say special thanks to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Technological University for making available this platform. So thank you very much.